How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. A little bit of porter time on today's Massive Beer Review in a form of Equilibrium Brewing's Mobius. Now, Equilibrium Brewing. Uh, I've done quite a bit of their beers review-wise. They are relatively close to me. You know, just a hair over an hour. And perfectly honest with you, one of my favorite breweries at the moment. I mean, they crush it on the hop front. They crush it on the sour front. But... The one thing that has been conspicuously missing from what they uh, provide is darker beers. And this is their first dark beer. They kind of let out the brewery, crowler-wise, and all that kind of stuff. They kind of had people kind of taste stuff in line and stuff like that and kind of test bed a little bit on uh, release days. But this is the first one they're actually kind of letting, letting fly out there in the uh, general public, so... I've never had it. I don't think so. I've had a couple tastes of dark stuff in line. I don't think I have had this. So I'm super excited to give it a whirl. This came out um, just about a week ago. Uh, and it comes courtesy of Brian. Thank you very much, dude. He was out there and he just kind of put out a general call. Hey, anybody want some? And I said yes. And he was cool enough to pick me up a crowler. So thank you very much, dude. As far as what it says in the crowd, just equilibrium. Uh, Mobius. Uh, Mobius, I don't know, and it's 7% alcohol by volume, that'd be that, and, you know, Crowler's cool, it's a Crowler, it's a sticker, it has a logo on it, done and done, this big fat snifter glass, this big fat Crowler, uh, so hopefully I don't pour beer everywhere, but I still will, because that's what I do, okay. well, that is by and far, in a way, the most successful growler pour in the history of massive beer reviews everybody give uh give yourself a hand for witnessing me not screwing up terribly um anyway um you know look at that finger and a half malted malt ball color infinite creaminess i mean this is, this is exactly what you want to sleep on sort of be damned sleep pillows thrown out the window this is what naps are made of nice creaminess to it and you know she'd be dark you know and pretty damn dark too it didn't have a we got a soft brown that kind of got super dark because of the amount of fluid in the glass. It was pretty dark on the pores, so a bit darker than mo most of the kind of typical pores you see floating around out there. So I mean, it's seven percent, so it's virgin on that kind of imperial porter range. So you can get a nose on her. She smells like a porter, um, in a very kind of not overly done sweetness, kind of desserty kind of way. A little bit more adult desserty. You're getting that kind of nice chocolate in there. It's almost like a little bit of milk chocolate, a decent amount of kind of dark chocolate, a little bit of kind of cocoa powder vibes. It's like a multi kind of level kind of chocolate to it. There's a creaminess to it too, like almost a lactose kind of vibe to it. Don't think there's any lactose in it. It's just that kind of creaminess you get from your nose. There's a bitterness to it. I think it's coming from the malt. I don't think it's coming from the hops, but just a bitterness to kind of bounce off that kind of sweetness in there. I'm getting like nutty vibes, like hazelnutty vibes from it too. So I'm getting a very kind of rich, decadent, but not overly sweet. I got to kind of hammer that home. It smells rich, not super sweet, um, which is kind of freaking cool. Um, yeah, it smells delectable. It smells nice. It smells beautiful. It smells like a core four beer in a positive way. I just want to drink it. Cheers. That's a good beer. First things first. Mouth feels fantastic. Nice, fluffy creaminess. It has that beautiful, creamy, what you want from a porter kind of mouthfeel. But there's a whole lot of, uh, I want to say a whole lot of sweetness. A helping of sweetness, but there's a helping of bitterness. Both, I think, from the roasted malt and also from hops. So you got a decent amount of sweetness and you have almost perfect balance from that kind of bitterness from the malt itself and the hops. Just kind of make it play all together. It's definitely like you can taste the individual piece, bits and pieces. It's rounded, but you can be like, okay, I'm getting my sweet malts there. I'm getting that bitterness from the malts. I'm also getting those kind of bitterness from those hops. The hops are just bitter. You're not really getting much as far as taste from those hops. 
which is the bittering component kind of balance off that sweetness. The roasted malt has a little bit of kind of a little bit of acidity to it, but it works kind of for me and just kind of, again, kind of balances off that sweetness. The sweetness is big, but it's not overly big. And like I said, it's kept in perfect check by that kind of bitterness, both, both from the roasted malts and the hops. Chocolate bounds, still getting that kind of multi-layered, multi-level kind of chocolate thing. Sweeter chocolates, semi-sweet chocolates, and kind of bittering chocolates. A slightly cocoa powdery kind of feel going on. That mouth feels just killer. It's a, I mean, Porter's Winter Nail are a lot like, you know, Doppelbox or a lot of these like New England style hazy IPAs for me. The mouth feel, that's the big component to it. And this is just uh, top notch. There's a little bit, a subtle bit of warming kind of like in the back of my throat. So I do feel like I'm drinking a 7% beer. It's not hot, but you just know it's not a super low ABV beer. And I'm really, really sensitive to this kind of metallic astringency thing when it comes to these kind of sub 10% darker beers, whether it be kind of porters or low level stouts or lower ABV stouts. I get none of that here. Um, so it leads me to believe that I get that a lot in a lot of different beers. I just think it's 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 a, a, a kind of water slash brew setup kind of astringency thing. I think I'm infinitely sensitive to, and I'm getting zero from it here. So it makes me think, you know, that whole kind of MIT kind of beer nerd, water nerd kind of um, bits and pieces nerds that they are up there at Equilibrium that uh, that shines through with that kind of. You know, you're not going to talk about pores being super clean, but that cleanliness and well-madeness of the beer itself. Yeah, super tasty, delicious. Mm. An absolutely fantastic first foray into kind of darker beers. And uh, yeah, kind of makes me excited about the other stuff I'm going to be tossing out there. So yeah, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better base core four porters that I've had as of late? Yeah, it is. Um, is it the best? Probably, um, but I can't remember the last time I had one. Uh, so, you know, it's up for debate. But, yeah, it's it's super tasty stuff, super drinkable, super chuggable, and I kind of dig it. Uh, value and availability is $12 for a Crowler, brewery only. That's pretty much how Equilibrium rolls. And leave you with, if you like, what will you like this? If you like good beer, well-made beer, darker beers, porters. I feel like core four beers. And uh, let's circle back to just good beer. Because uh, that's what this is. Good beer made by good dudes, good people. You know, uh, they obviously know what they're doing up there uh, from a beer standpoint. And everything that comes out of there, while not everything is an absolute grand slam, I've had nothing short of probably a stand-up double. Um, and uh, they just do it for me. You know, kind of, you know, it's close. So it's tasty. Good beers, good people. Can't go wrong. So if you'd like those things uh, in a beer, definitely worth checking out. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, didn't, anywhere in between, down there, words and stuff and things. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and tap to Massive Beers. All four of those places if you want to check this dude out somewhere else. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice porter right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.